What's going on guys, this is Goofy Goop the Balls, bringing you guys some Black Ops 3 uplink score spots. And so the purpose of this video is to give you ways you can score an uplink without having to go close to the enemy objective. And there's just tons of uses for this. I mean, one, you're going to die a lot, lot less when you're trying to score. I mean, if you've played uplink, you know people just love to sit around the goal area and camp it. And I mean, if you try to get close to it, chances are you're going to die. And using these spots will allow you guys to score in a bunch of different ways, and no matter how good a team you're playing, you'll always be able to score and save yourself a lot of deaths. So just a few things before we get started, this video is organized alphabetically by map name. So if you're looking for a specific map, you should be able to jump ahead and find that map without too much trouble. Also, some of these spots require that you stand still, some of them require that you boost jump and throw, some of them require that you slide and throw, some of them require that you run boost jump and throw. And I mean, it's all in the video there. If you do it exactly as I do it, you should be able to score pretty easily. But that's not to say that you don't need to practice this. From the way I cut things together here, it might look like I make all of these on my first shot. But trust me, I definitely do not. Some of these take me more than 20 tries. And if you want to get good at this and hit these shots consistently, it's going to take you a lot of practice. And one other thing, there seems to be a height restriction for how high you're allowed to throw the uplink ball. And it seems to be different on every map. Like on Exodus, you can barely throw that thing above the tallest building. And if you do, it'll get reset. So just be careful about that when you're trying these spots. So just know that there is a height restriction in that. If you throw the ball too high sometimes, it might just automatically reset. So now I'll show you guys all the spots I came up with. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or any spots I missed, anything like that, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I will definitely get back to you about that and help you out if you need it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, smash that like button for me. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button for more Black Ops 3 videos like this. This has been Goofy Goop the Balls, and I'll catch you all in the next video.